Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Attack on Titan. Last time on Attack on Titan, we had Crushing Blow, the 57th Exterior Scouting Mission Part 5, where, essentially, uh, Lean Jean went after uh, Aaron and the Levi Squad, went back into her Lean Jean form, and uh, pretty much completely wiped out the entirety of the Levi Squad, Sans Captain Levi, because he wasn't there. Um, and yeah, we had to watch them all die. It was very, very sad. And then Aaron decided, screw all of this. And he became Buffered Sea Titan. So that we could have Buffered Sea Titan versus Lean Jean in the greatest match of the century. And it was a pretty crazy fight, actually. Um, and it also had Aaron pretty much blaming kind of blaming himself for blaming himself for trusting the Levi squad which is sad to say like he basically said if I if it's because I trusted them that they're dead now basically um so yeah but he pretty much I mean he kind of got his ass kicked he put up a good fight but lean Jean kind of knocked him down uh and then she actually like ripped him out of buffered sea titan and ate him and then ran off uh which is a very clever way of uh capturing him and then mikasa arrived on the scene tried to put in some hits but didn't really go too well and she was probably really close to being killed by lean jean when captain levi uh, came in to save her uh save her but basically just be like yo we gotta we gotta really think this through so, now, Lean Jean has captured Eren, and the only people that are in pursuit of Lean Jean are Captain Levi and Mikasa. Which, I mean, they seem to be the two greatest people in existence, so... I don't know. So did the Levi squad, though, so... I don't know. I don't know. We still do not know who Lean Jean is, which is driving me up a wall, but... Yeah. This is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. This is also where I say if you want to watch my reaction to this episode of Attack on Titan, what you gotta do is head down in the description or to the pinned comment. Click on the link there. That will take you over to the reaction. You can watch it just like a normal reaction. And when you're done with that, you can pop right back over here to this video for the discussion. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this episode of Attack on Titan. Here we go. <laughs> Read the room. Read the room, people. You're talking about taxes and if your daughter should marry. Read the room, people. It's very clear we've lost, the scouts lost people on their latest excursion. I, like, read the room. Seriously. This is not the time for any of this talk. Now, can, the, the capital is not going to be fair to the scouts, like, whatsoever. But, in fairness... Everything with Aaron kind of went well, to be honest. Everything around Aaron didn't go well, but everything with Aaron went well. He didn't lose control, necessarily, from a certain point of view. Like, from a certain point of view, he didn't lose control. He went in to fight. And to his credit... He was kind of just sort of, you know, acting.
acting on his own because, you know, his entire squad had died. No one to give him orders. So, you know, it's not really, like, they didn't lose control of him. So, uh, don't mind me. I'm just going to uh, draw something out real quick. Maybe I'll cut ahead because I'm going to be drawing this for a few seconds because there's a lot of words I need to uh, write out. Well, that's a very noticeable misspelling I just did. Oh well, not changing it. But uh, let's make sure we have the right number. Okay, Attack on Titan. Da, 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 da. Female Titan was episode 17, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 21 was 5, so this episode is 6. Okay. Okay. Okay, cut back. I've got it all done. Uh, there you go. Weeks of not knowing Lean Gene, we are at six now, and I'm going to be keeping track of this. As you can see, I slightly messed up when I was writing knowing. Um, I also had to shorten the sentence to uh, really make sure, but yes, this is, uh, this is what we're on. Weeks of not knowing Lean Gene, uh, we are on six weeks. Uh, I'm going to keep updating this list until we know who Lean Gene is. I hope to God that this isn't, like, something that's brought up, like, three seasons from now or something. Um, I, I know that there's only four seasons total. At, well, and the fourth season is the final season that's not even out yet, I think. Um, but, yeah. So, hopefully, this number doesn't have to get too big. Uh, otherwise, I might need more paper. But, yeah. This is, uh, this is what we're on. This is uh, how many weeks it's been since we first met Lean Jean, and we still don't know who Lean Jean is. So, yeah. Okay. And with that said, let's circle back into our notes. <sighs> Circling back into the notes... The first thing I wrote down is Free Aaron. Uh, this was interesting. Again, I this was definitely the dream team up of uh, Captain Levi and Mikasa Ackerman. Probably now two of my favorite characters. Like if it's if it's Mikasa and Armin, I think I I think I'm putting Captain Levi at number three now. So yeah, Captain Levi is definitely one of my favorites um, after after this arc, you know? So, that was pretty interesting. Um, it's also interesting, you know, they go for the approach of, okay, we're not going to try to take her out. Let's just try to save Eren and get out of here. Because that that's a good idea. Because anyone who has gone in with the idea that they're going to take out the female Titan, they don't do that. They do not do that, and they end up dying in the process, down to the Levi squad. They all have died doing this, so, yeah. Um, so, Captain Levi's approach is a good one, definitely, of let's just free Aaron and get out of here. Um, Levi is a fast little bastard, I have to say. Like, oh my god, this dude, this dude knows speed like no one's business. Like, he was doing all sorts, and we've kind of seen that before, you know, where he, you know, he'll do like a crazy, like, twist and then attack and stuff. But, I mean, this one, he was doing a full twist up her arm with his blades. Like, how? How can the human body handle that? Like, that is incredible. Like, I feel like that's the... That, feel, that looks like the kind of thing you need to be an astronaut to train for. That was insane. So, yeah. And he completely, completely crippled her. It was ridiculous, you know? That was insane. Of course, with that amount of crippling her, yeah, Mikasa thought, oh, I could take her out. Like, 
no, stick to the plan. Because, yeah, even when Mikasa, like, she's completely crippled, and Mikasa goes in to try to kill her, nope, she still could get up and do something. You know, she could still do something. That's why Levi didn't want to take her out here, you know? And Levi sprained or twisted or broke his ankle or something. It must have just been, like, sprained because he was walking on it at the end. I mean, still, that would hurt like hell. I don't know. But, yeah, that was pretty crazy. And then we left the forest of giant trees. Oh... Man, what what a what a mission this has been. What a mission. We lost so many people, man. So many people. And some of them are going to be listed as missing in action, which is interesting. And you know, the whole thing of like, oh, we gotta, you know, get their bodies and bring them back. It's like Ah, uh, I don't know, man. Battlefield death, you may just have to leave them there, you know? Like, it's not worth risking more people in order to get the bodies. Like, yeah, you do need to just sort of leave them. And yes, is it pretty much an undignified way of doing that? Yes, but I kind of view it as, or you can sort of view it as almost a burial at sea. Like, you know, even though burials at sea are a bit more, you know, (sighs) They're a bit more dignifying than, you know, just being left, just letting, just leaving a corpse behind. But, yeah. And that guy, man, risking everyone, trying to get the guy, and then leading Titans over, like, come on. And he got another guy killed. He got another guy killed. Oh, man. Um, I have to say, though... I, again, another reason why I love Levi. Because, you know, this guy, they finally all, they get past those Titans. We're expecting this guy to be chewed the F out. Like, this guy completely disobeyed orders and everything. Like, we're waiting for this guy to just, we're waiting for this man's career to be over. But, I like, you know, the the lesson is pretty much already sunk into him, you know? But you're still, he's he's even waiting to be scolded. But I like Captain Levi comes over and it's like, look, sometimes we just have to leave them, you know? And he gives him the thing, but that doesn't mean we're leaving their memory. If we can't take their body, we take their memory. And he gives him the patch and then he just walks away. And that's that's all we see. Oh my god, Levi is... You know what? Okay, maybe Levi might have to jump up to number two. I'm sorry, Armin, but I friggin' love Captain Levi... Between just his skill and incredible talent with the ODM gear, but also like when he was talking with Aaron about you know you need to do what you need to do what your conscience says is right you know like you need to do what you think is right you'll never it's hard to figure out but do what you think you should do like between that talk and then now this like Levi is definitely one of my favorites. And, uh, and yeah, honestly, now he is going, I'm going to say it, he is more, he is higher than Armin. I think he's my number two. And I think, honestly, if he, if he climbs any higher, he may actually overtake Mikasa. I just love Captain Levi. Like, that, that is exactly what needed to happen with that guy. Like, Like, the lesson has already sunk into him. If you yell at him and scold him and stuff, it's honestly, I I don't want to say, like, beating a dead horse. And, frankly, he does, you know, deserve to be scolded and yelled at and and have his career over and everything. Um, But the fact that they just, that Levi just came in and is like, hey, even if we can't take their bodies, we take their memories. And then he gives him the patch, like... That was really, really good. I really like that. And it's a mindset you really have to keep when we are dropping all the dead weight. We are dropping the literal dead weight to escape those titans. That's sad. Just seeing and just seeing the Levi squad dumped like that is so sad. But yes, we do need to carry on the memories. I, 
it's incredible how sad I am for the Levi squad, and we barely knew them, you know? But just from the small interactions we've had with Aaron, and from what we've seen of Captain Levi, like, it's just, it's so sad how we've lost the Levi squad. So, ugh. And then we had the return. Um, I actually like, you know, going back to, uh, going back to, that was episode one when, you know, we saw little baby Aaron and baby Mikasa. Well, not, I mean, they were babies in, like, the flashback. These are, like, toddler Aaron and toddler Mikasa. Now they're, you know, young adults in, in the world, more literally. But yeah, just seeing, you know, them, they're so small and cute and, uh, and so hopeful. Aaron's so hopeful and everything. And then just seeing the dif those defeated scouts come in and hearing the same thing. Ah, uh, uh, taxpayer dollars. Like, fuck you and your taxpayer dollars. People are dead. And I get, like, because you understand, like, oh, well, why are we funding them to take people to their deaths? But... So, I mean, you have to understand that, but at the same time, it's like, guys, just, like, what what are you accomplishing with this argument? Like, I, I, I don't know. It's, I, I guess it's honestly a tricky thing, because on the one hand, on the one hand, yes, you know, they're, they're funding the scouts to send people to their deaths. What's the benefit we get out of this? But at the same time, like, I don't know. At the same time, read the room. People are dead. Bring this up later, you know? And then it's the same thing in the present day when they're, you know, when they're yelling at Commander Smith and it's like, people are dead. Like, give them time. They will talk to you tomorrow. Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's also one of those things where it's like, you know, oh, well... We're spending our money and sending off our, you know, family to go die. And it's like, yeah, but at least the scouts are doing something. The hell are you people doing? Standing here doing nothing? Like, uh... And yeah, it was sad to see, you know, that kid who was excited to see the scouts, you know? And Aaron realizing, my god, that used to be me. I was that boy who was so entranced by the scouts now i am one and everything has gone to hell you know <sighs> so yeah and then petra's father petra's father coming in and it's like come on it's that classic like movie or tv trope where it's like oh d like, they have to tell someone the bad news, but then they're like, oh, you're the best, aren't you? It's a good thing you never tell me bad news. I, you know, I love it here, and this is great. And they, and then they just, like, don't say it. But obviously, here, they have to say it. Levi has to tell this guy that his daughter is dead. And not only that, after all of this, is when I finally, I'd completely forgotten what the stakes were about this mission. Like, this mission did need to be a success so that the scouts could keep custody of Eren, and that, that's gone. Granted, again, Eren never actually lost control. He was acting under his own orders, yes, but he... He took some initiative, you know? He took some initiative. He never lost control. When he was given orders, yes, he questioned them at first, but he did follow his orders from both, from uh, from everyone, including, you know, putting his trust in the Levi squad, you know? Like, he did. He never lost control. So that aspect was a success. It's just that the overall mission was a complete failure. So, yeah. But the scouts have now lost custody of Eren as they are now going to the capital. Oh, gosh. 
Uh, you know, at least with Trost, and I said this in the reaction, at least with Trost, like, it, it, yeah, it was sad. Like, we were mourning everyone that had died at Trost. But at the very least, at the very least, they did win. Like, that was a good step against the Titans. This was a complete loss, and we had to completely mourn that loss. It's not like Trost, where it's like, well... We had a victory, but yeah, we also have to mourn the dead and everything. Like, no, it's not that. Ugh. This is just sad. This is just sad. And we still don't know who Lean Gene is. I'm going to bet you we're, it's going to be a season or so before we find out. Like, it's going to be a while, I feel like. So, yeah. That is pretty much it. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Attack on Titan videos, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.